Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can take the backup of Biostar 2. So like this is the first video of the backup process. So in this first video, we are going to see how we can take the backup of Biostar when it is installed on MariaDB. So if I check on my Biostar 2 setting, so you can see currently it is installed on MariaDB. And at the same time, if you see here are around almost 22 number of users. I have added here just for the testing purpose so that I'll be able to show like if we take the backup from here so we'll be able to show when we do the restore process of this. Biostar to backup consists of two things. One is database backup and another is like file backup. So for the very first we will take the file backup then later on we'll do the database backup. So in order to take the files backup, we'll need to go to this folder where Biostar 2 is already installed. We'll go to program files and here in the Biostar 2, we'll see several files. Now we actually don't need to take all the files backup. There are some files which is really important at the time of restore. So among that, uh, one is like if you look for this set system file and uh, another is like you will see one more file that is called setting file so let's look for that system file and here is setting file so here is setting file here is a system file first we'll take the backup of these two files we'll make one folder and name it backup Biostar 2 will keep these two files here not just these files usually of these two files we are not going to use these files during the restore process but yes these files will be very helpful if something goes wrong the most important file that we have to take as a backup is the util folder in the util folder you see this in key and n key init file so basically this encryption key file is the most important file during the backup if you miss this file then it's like you're not going to log in in your biostar 2 so i usually recommend taking the whole folder backup of this util which is actually not mandatory you can simply just take the backup of that in key file only but i'll take the backup of entire folder now at the same time if you have any license activated in your Biostar 2, then you will see a license folder as well here. Currently, I don't have any license activated in my Biostar 2, so I'm not getting... Uh, okay, I'll just go back from here. So currently, I don't have any license activated here. That's why I'm not getting the license folder here. If I'll activate a license, you will see a LIC folder here as well. So you can take that folder backup as well. And at the same time, if you have to take this image logs backup as well, this image log is like, uh, it's the real-time image capture from some of the devices like PlayStation F2 and BioStation 3. So if you want to take the backup of those image logs, you can take the backup of that too. These are the files that we usually want as in backup of Biostar 2 when we talk about like file backup of Biostar 2. Now let's see how we can take the backup of database. So in order to move forward with the database backup of MariaDB, we will need to download an application that is called MySQL Workbench. So MySQL Workbench actually gives us the visualization so that at least we can take the manual backup by ourselves without knowing that whole CMD stuff and command prompts. So uh, we'll do one thing, we'll first download the MySQL Workbench. So for that, just look for MySQL Workbench download. Just hit the enter and click on this first link. Here you'll be able to see the, uh, like the current version of MySQL Workbench. What Suprema always recommends is like to go with 6.3.10. So if you want to go with that older version, you can go on this archive 
and from here you can like you can select that specific version 6.3.10 in my experience, I have used 6.3.10 as well and the latest backup as well, but it has not affected me well. So whatever the version you are going to use, it's good for you to go. So I'll simply here, I'll download say, uh, this 8.0.33 and here you can see this download button. Click on this download button. If you move forward, now you don't have to do any login or sign up here simply. If you look at here down, you can see this no thanks, just start my download. I'll simply just hit this download. It's almost of 40-45 MB. So it's taking hardly 2-3 seconds to download. So here it's downloaded. I'll do, it's a very simple installation. So you can simply install it. And here for me, before installing it says I'll need Visual C++ 2019 redistribution. Okay. So I'll finish this first. I'll download that. So we are SUL Visual C plus plus two zero one nine redistributable. So first I'll download this. I actually need this two zero one nine version. So I'll download this one. Okay. Do I have the download button? download okay i think this is going to work as well doesn't matter if it's a 2019 or anyone okay i think here here's the all the or here is all version available so i'll get this 64 one and this is also it's almost around 24 mb and which is almost done i'll download this and install this install make it yes it takes less than a second to install so once this is done we'll run the setup of mysql workbench one second okay it's asking me for the restart i'll just do a restart then we'll do the process so system restarted now let's just run that workbench setup once again so here i have the setup Click on install, hit next, next, I do the complete installation and install, make it yes, it will take couple of seconds to do the installation, so let the installation finish. Just few more seconds to go, so once this is done. Then it's like we'll connect the MariaDB or Biostar to here, then we'll process for the backup. So here it is installed. Now if we just make it tick mark here, when we finish it, it will simply launch, launch it. Wait for a second, here it comes. Now, uh, in order to connect that database of Biostar 2 I'll just open it just to show you so here is the Biostar setting so the very first thing that we have to make sure is this port number on which port this MariaDB database is running so this is 3312 now we'll need to make one connection I'll click on this plus one we'll name it Biostar 2 I'll keep running this number as same name this port as 3312 which is the actual one now in the store board we need to enter the database password this password we usually insert at the time of installation of Biostar 2 so like when Biostar 2 is being installed over the MariaDB it has two passwords one is of a login password and another is of your uh, that we call is the database password so here we will need the database password i have already saved my password here so i'll simply just copy this password here i'll paste it here make it okay i'll do the test connection click continue and okay click on okay here your connection is ready now if i open it 
uh, don't show this message again continue anyway and here if you see all these options here but at the bottom you see this schemas option if i click here i'll be able to see all three of my databases here this ac database tna database and this ve database now let's see how we can take the backup so now go to server go to this data export option here you will see all the database which is already there in the mariadb or you can say mysql we'll do the backup of first by ac like one by one we'll do the backup make sure to do the tick mark on all these dump trigger events and procedures then click on this self contained folder rename it whatever you want to name it so but i'll make sure i name it biostar2 underscore ac the same name of my database and don't forget to click on this include create schema do the tick mark on this click on start over wait for a little and here you can see this finish we'll close this and now we'll go to that same server data export do the same task with this tna database we have to process the same way data export and we'll name it by start to tna same way do the tick mark on this and start export once this is done then we'll do the same thing with the ve database as well i'll close this go to server data export select the ve database do the tick mark store procedure events triggers i'll name it by start to ve by start to ve include schema start export continue so here is like all our backup is done so where we have stored all the backup it all stores in here okay where is it i think i'll need to see where my backup is stored okay so okay one second let's just check where it is getting stored okay i'll need to close this and go to data export so okay it's going in c mysql dump file so let's just go to this here here mysql dump file and here is our all three backup one two three i'll cut all these backups from here and we have made a backup folder here and we'll name it here like database so these are the databases and these are like files so what we will do this files so now we have database backup as well and now we have files backup as well so i hope now you will be able to take the backup of your biostar2 when it is installed on mariadb so in the next video we are going to see how we can take the backup of biostar2 when it is installed on ms sql database so stay tuned with us see you in the next video